if you did the paintbrush and blob brush missions, uh, you notice that changing the brush size is kind of cumbersome. Well, there's a better way using the keyboard to change the brush size. If you look down at the keyboard, the, the QWERTY line, the Q-W-E-R-T-Y, uh, look over the end where the P is, and then there's an opening closing bracket, those square brackets. The left bracket makes the brush size smaller. The right bracket make the, makes the brush size larger. So if I hit B to get the paintbrush tool, and then click and draw a line, and then hit the right bracket one time, and draw another line, and click that right bracket again, and you see that each time I hit that, I get a little thicker line. And then if I hit the left bracket, we go back down the list, getting smaller each time. Cool, huh? The exact same thing works for the blob brush. Shift B for the blob brush. You notice that it changed to the blob brush right there. And we draw a line. Right bracket. And these lines are going to look remarkably similar. Except as you know from having done that, the blob brush behaves differently. Now we're going to go back down. So, selecting a line, we have a stroke, we have a path that has a stroke on it. Here, selecting one of the blob brushes, you see we have a fill because this path goes around the outside rather down the center. Easier to see right here. We'll zoom in so we can see this a little better. Um, the paintbrush draws a path which is stroked. The blob brush draws a shape that is outlined by a path. So, but even though both brushes produce different types of line, both brushes are affected the same way by those bracket keys. Now those bracket keys work in Photoshop too, but there's a far better way to change the brush size in Photoshop, which we'll get to. But when in doubt, the bracket keys will work for you.